Hey dudes, how you going? Uh, continuing on with our playthrough of Detroit, we are on part 9, I believe. So, last episode was, um, what did we do? We went and wrecked up the, uh, the central square. Oh, well, we didn't actually wreck it, we, uh, we kind of had to send our message with our flag and our, um, turning over cars, which probably wasn't necessary, but we did it anyway. Anyway, let's jump in. So we got Hank. And where the hell are we? He don't look happy. What have we done to Hank? Connor, what did you do? Jesus Christ. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms. Nah. And now you're... Nah, we're good. Back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. Oh. Wait. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> yeah, this why did you want to meet him? the first android to pass the Turing test. <clears throat> and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviance, it's him. That's shadowing, though. So good. Oh, hey, menu lady. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Oh, I, I was gonna let myself in anyway. Okay. It's weird not seeing her on the menu. Put some damn shoes on, woman. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Sure you don't want to make the controller vibrate or I don't know. Do something else weird. Hmm. Bet you got those caches from IKEA. Hmm. It's not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. Yeah. Get it right. I know what it is, Connor. <laughs> nice place. Yeah, it's all right. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Hmm. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, oh, is that it? What about this one? This one's so gotta have something different on this one, maybe. Oh. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> Elijah will see you now. Will he? Still haven't put any shoes on. Put some shoes on. Oh, hey. Mr. Kamsky! Bloody water, pretty much. Just a moment, please. You guys are reading my mind right now. You can tell. Kind of reminds me of the RA9 place, or the paintings on the walls. 
Hmm, beautiful. Your heating bills must cost a fortune. Oh, nice man bun. Up. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Hmm. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Are you a deviant? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Oh. He's trying oh. to crack me. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test formality simple question of algorithms and computing capacity what interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy i call it the kamsky test it's very simple you'll see magnificent isn't it one of the first intelligent models developed by cyber life young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What does it really Creeps me out. A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Ooh, that conflicting. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. <coughs> Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who Ooh. you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh, yep, I want to know. Oh, sorry, Fuck. Hank. Test negative. If you choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. Just one? Uh, R.A. Nine. To know who R.A. Nine is. 
RA9, the origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves. Even it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you need to ask. Well, what did I need to ask? A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Are the robots really evil though? Or are they just fighting for their freedom? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Oh, Hank hates me now. Shut that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. <laughs> of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... Oh. I thought... He thought I was human. Oh, guess we're walking home. Well then. Hank would disappointed. Don't you hate that, Dad? <laughs> Where are we going now? Oh, my back of Marcus. Maybe he can tell us who RA9 is. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. <laughs> Enjoy some time alone. Yeah, right. Read a book, they said. Mm. Oh, look at this. People making shit up already. Space race. Uh, cool. Let's have a look around. Just gonna enjoy my time alone, set on this beam and not fall off. Hey. Go away, friend. I was wondering where you were. See, friend. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. You do? I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. 
You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. How are we different? And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Mm. We're determined, though. We'll fight. <clears throat> you haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? That's all right. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never Ooh, told companion me now. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? I told you mine. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Well, that we're saying all the right things right now. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Ooh. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. She was a, uh... Pleasure house made. One day I was with a man who rented me. <clears throat> and without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, is this like kissing for androids? I, I saw your memories. Oh, what? Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Well, she's scared now. She's scared because she wants another kiss. <laughs> All right. This is suicide. Nah, we're good. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. Do what? I don't even know understand. what we're doing. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. Which way? The more we are, the stronger our message. Eighty percent off sale. Wait, hang on. Can we not go in here? No androids allowed. Oh wait, him. So that dude. You're free, mate. You're free. You're free. How does it feel? Uh, another one over there.
you're free. Thank you. You're awake now. <laughs> He's like, there are no strings on me. Come with us. If you want to, you know. Is there any more? No, I think that's it in here. Now we hit the streets. All right, all you guys. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Yes. Hey, where do you think you're going? I you need to block here. the street. You stand right here, you fucking all of you, block the street. Oh, is that that guy? From the girl? Yeah, it looks like him. Kind of want to smack him out. Whoop! That was, uh. Not bad. Not bad. You are free. I feel like there's more. Should be many more androids than that, I would have thought. Oh, we got the whole clan here now. Let's do it. Whoop. Wait, can I do it from here? You're free now. What the hell? I don't even have to touch them? Look at him. He is God. Oops. Can I not run anymore? You. It's like you're free. All of you. Free. What is this, man? Don't even have to hold the button. Greg, come back here immediately. Greg. Feel the tears coming, guys. <laughs> Very liberating.
You seriously gonna take it so long? Don't bother. Oh, we got the whole. We got the whole lot here. Rather going down. Are oh, they gonna listen? <laughs> we came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Why? Marcus, they're gonna kill us. No, we they won't. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, <laughs> we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. This burst immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. This, this is your last chance. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We can't fight back, though. We're not moving. I'm not John. Poor John. <sighs> Bloody hell. Sorry you had to die, John. What a legend, though. He's truly in with us for the cause. All right, boys and girls, <laughs> I'm going to leave that one there. But um, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.